What's up everyone, hope you're having a great day. I thought I'd just do something a little bit different today and share some of my tips and hints that I've discovered myself really from using the dating app Bumble. Now, those of you who've not used Bumble, it's a bit like Tinder whereby you get your potential matches come up, you swipe right and if you match, then they've got 24 hours to message you and then you've got 24 hours to message them back, otherwise the match goes. So Bumble is actually quite a difficult app to get a lot of matches on. There are a few reasons for this. Firstly, it's because it is a very, very feminist app and if you go in there with a typical blokey bloke mentality, then it doesn't like you. It will put you to the back of the queue. I'm not much of a user of the site myself anymore. I used to be, uh, I used to be really into them and I used to try all different things, different methods, different accounts and different ways of, of trying to actually improve the matches. Don't really go on there anymore, I haven't been on there for a while. So that's why I've decided I'm gonna share some of my, my little tips with you because you're not my competition anymore. So before we go any further, just take a moment to ask you to subscribe, consider subscribing to the channel and drop a like and leave me a comment as well. First step obviously is going to be to create the account and take your time, make sure you've got some decent photos of you. When I say decent as well, I mean different photos as well. So you're not all just doing the same thing and have a think about your photo selection as well. I'd advise you to not have a load of like selfies or uh, filters or, you know, funny little, you know, moustaches or whatever you, you put on for your filters. I wouldn't put those on, I would just get normal photos of you doing you. Everyone's different and you need to use your photos to show yourself as being unique. I can't tell you what that is, if you've got a lot of hobbies, so you're rock climbing, so you're like going out partying, whatever, so you're in the cars or whatever, just take photos, use photos of you being you. Next thing you need to do is verify your account. They've got an option on there whereby you verify your account. So they ask you to take a selfie and then doing something specific, so it might be like your hand in the air or touching your face or something like that. You then submit that and then they automatically analyze it to see if you're actually posting photos of you. After you've done that, fill in the basics, just basic information about yourself, uh, maybe, maybe put a few things down like your star sign, uh, heights, etc. whether you go to the gym, want kids, want relationship, whatever. I wouldn't necessarily put all of them in, just maybe a couple of them, just so your profile doesn't look too bare. So just stick to the basics, I wouldn't worry too much about answering all those daft questions that they've got, all these conversation starters, things like that. Maybe if you particularly want to, maybe do one or two of them, but personally I wouldn't bother spending too much time on that. Maybe something in the description about yourself, a little couple of lines if you really wanted to, but from my experience when I've tried different ways it's not really made a huge amount of difference what I've put in those. Typically I've always done star sign, height and that I'm into fitness and that's about it really. But I also I find some of the questions are just, you know, just, it's just stupid. Like one of them, something like, you know, when did you feel most? When do you feel most empowered? What was the the last kind act you did? Like, who's, why am I? Who's going to write about that? At the end of the day, if you've done a kind act, you just do a kind act. You don't boast about it afterwards. So if you feel that in you and not, but in my opinion, anyway, once your account is created, you're happy with it. You've got your photos all set up, and you you you're cool with it. Close the app. Just forget about it. Don't log in then onto the app until I would say the next day, maybe 22 to 24 hours afterwards. The reason I say 24 hours is because if you get a match straight away and they message you straight away, then you're going to lose a match, but no one ever really messages straight away. So I would say you've probably got 24 hours anyway before you could sort of go on there. Once you go on there, you should have a few matches sort of greyed out to say you've got you know X amount of matches, X amount of people have, sort of, have liked your profile. And you these will usually display be displayed near to the front of the stack. So then when you start swipe in right on the ones you find attractive, then they should materialize as matches. However, be careful with how many times you do swipe. So once you've logged in then you've seen a few, swipe right a few times, swipe left on ones you don't like, be selective. If you're just swiping right, 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 without looking at the profiles, without being selective, and you're just constantly doing it, then the app will penalize you for that. Think about it, it's a very feminist app. They don't want a load of horny guys on there swiping away, right, 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 right. And you doing that, is just showing the app that that's what you're looking for. You're looking for a bit of fun, you're completely desperate, and the app will put you to the back of the queue so you won't be appearing on people's um, people's stacks. The app doesn't want a load of horny dogs on there, and that's one of the things they do. They'll also check your profiles, profile pictures. If they're, you know, <laughs> you've got a shirt off in your photos, they'll get that one out, get rid of that one. If you're taking selfies in the mirror, you know, with your top off and your underwear or whatever, they'll get rid of that as well. So just be aware of what sort of things you're putting on there. Putting that sort of style on there will penalise you later on down the line. 
So make sure your photos are half decent. If you do want to show off your physique, make sure it's, um, you know, you've got a context to it, like you're on the beach, maybe you're with someone else. You're not just, you know, posing around in your, uh, in your budgies after, after a gym session. Don't forget as well, the app is, it's got a lot of guys on there. There is a lot of guys and you're not going to get anywhere near as many matches as women do on there. I don't know how women have a problem meeting people or matching people on there because you're, you're going to get a, a fraction of how many swipes they get because guys are on there just swiping right, 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 right. I tried this for, I created a, an experimental account and within about two minutes, as I, I made an experimental account as a, a female and after about two minutes, I'd had a hundred swipes. It wasn't even a decent photo. It wasn't even a good profile. It was just clearly a fake profile, to be honest with you. <laughs> I was only on there for a few hours, just you know, just wanted to see what the user experience was like from the other side. And you'll find actually that it is a lot better if you go on there as a, as a woman. The app is designed for the female experience, not designed for men. So you've got to play the game, play the system, work around the app, work around the parameters it sets, and you'll find that you'll get a lot more matches on the app. After you've got your matches in, guys, I'll leave that over to you because that's not something I think I can advise on. Just be yourself and crack on. If you've got any other tips that I've missed on how to get around the algorithm or improve the likelihood of matches, guys, just leave a comment below. Share your tips with the rest of them. Thank you for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. And I know it's a little bit different from what I normally do because I'm talking about fitness, gym, and other things, other stuff like that. Let me know what you think. If you don't like the change, let me know. If you want to see more like this, then if you want to see a Tinder video as well on how to beat the system on Tinder, comment below and I'll get that one squared away for you. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a great day.